Picture this. December 27, 1831. A ship called the HMS Beagle is about to set sail from Plymouth on a voyage that will change science forever. On board is a young Britaid naturalist named Charles Darwin. But here's the crazy part. This entire world-altering journey almost didn't happen. And the reason the captain didn't like the shape of Darwin's nose. No, I'm not joking. This is one of those bizarre what-if moments in history that could have changed everything. The captain of the Beagle, Robert Fitzroy, was a firm believer in something called physiognomy. This was the popular, but totally unscientific idea that you could accurately judge. Someone asked character and abilities just by looking at their facial features. A strong jaw meant you were determined. A high forehead meant you were intelligent. You get the idea. So, when Fitzroy first met the 22-year-old Darwin, he took one look at his nose and thought, nope. He believed the shape of Darwin's nose suggested a person who lacked energy, ambition, and determination. In his mind, someone with that nose simply wouldn't have the grit to endure a grueling multi-year voyage around the world. Imagine being told you re not cut out for the job of a lifetime because your nose is UNT pointy enough. Fitzroy was seriously considering rejecting Darwin for the position of the ship's naturalist. The fate of modern biology, our entire understanding of evolution and natural selection, hung in the balance over a pseudoscientific sniff test. It's a classic example of the butterfly effect a tiny, absurd detail that could have had massive consequences. If Fitzroy had stuck to his guns, Darwin would have stayed home. No voyage to the Galapagos Islands. No finches, no groundbreaking observations. Thankfully, Darwin must have been incredibly persuasive. Maybe his other features balanced things out in Fitzroy's mind, or maybe he just gave a really, really good interview. Somehow, he managed to talk his way onto that boat, convincing the captain that his nose was not, in fact, a reflection of his spirit. He got the job, and the rest is scientific history. That five-year journey gave Darwin the evidence he needed to develop his theory of evolution by natural selection, which he later published in his revolutionary book, On the Origin of Species. It laid the foundation for modern biology and fundamentally changed how we see ourselves and our place in the natural world. And it all came so close to being derailed by a captain's strange obsession with facial features. It just goes to show you, sometimes the greatest discoveries depend on the smallest, strangest twists of fate. If Darwin hadn't talked his way onto that boat, we might still be wondering where we all came from. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this weird slice of history, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.